I'm Brian from iWire, and this is our grounding kit. You hear a lot about grounding in Subarus, it's mostly because they're not that well grounded from the factory. When, especially when you make changes, it can have an effect on the grounding system of the car because the ECU gets its grounds from the top of the intake manifold, not the block, not the chassis. It comes from the top of the intake manifold. So if the top of the intake manifold is not connected to the chassis of the car or the block, you can have really serious problems. And that just adds into the fact that from the factory it wasn't that great to start with. So our grounding kit combines all of the wires into a single joint so that if one is not working as well as the others, it's still gonna work pretty darn well. In addition, we're gonna factor in just the key components, the alternator bracket, because the alternator grounds from the bracket, the chassis, because you need to get the block to the chassis, because your biggest metal part is the frame of the car, the block itself, and the top of the intake manifold, because like I said before, top of the intake manifold is where the grounding for the ECU comes from. So if that is not grounded well, your car is going to have all sorts of weird issues. So we're gonna keep it simple, and we're also going to make sure that you can route this cleanly. What you see here is fiberglass sleeve. You can basically light this on fire and it's gonna be fine. Fire! So that way you can route it as close to the block as you want, keep it tucked away, make it look really nice. Uh, this will work for any Subaru. We have pretty standard links in here so that we can uh, apply it to just about anything. So we've disconnected the power side of the battery. Um, I'm gonna put a little piece of tape on it just to make sure I don't touch it. Um, Cause we are messing with the ground kit. It could arc. I don't really wanna find out. So just something like that or a towel, anything, just be careful. So we're gonna start with the mounting of the distribution block. This tab actually ties into the rest of the ground. So factor this is an actual ground. So where you mount it is really up to you guys. We're actually gonna mount it behind this plate, this little bracket, because it's metal behind it, it's gonna be a really clean look. But anywhere on, around the frame is gonna be fine. So if you've got extra parts here, a front mount, it's not a big deal. Just find somewhere good, solid metal, unpainted, clean, because clean grounds are good grounds, is gonna be fine. So the reason I picked this point, this ground point, is because this ground cable actually tries directly to the negative terminal of the battery. So instead of putting the ground on the negative terminal, we're tying into the negative terminal using the big points of the chassis. So this will be step one, is tie it into wherever the negative terminal of your battery hits the chassis. That's point one. A lot of times people will try to trust the threads to be the ground. I don't think that that's enough because a lot of times they're dirty and they can be painted. So sanding away like the factory did here to get rid of any of the paint. So this, this ring is directly on metal, really important and really good grounds here.
just say things to note or make it pretty. Okay. You can route it because of the jacketing we used, the sleeve, you can route it however you want. Okay. So the second spot, really important, is the bracket for the alternator. So what we did was we took off the back plate so we can sandwich it direct on the alternator bracket. The alternator grounds on the housing. So if you've painted this or somehow this wasn't making good contact with the ground, you're gonna have all sorts of alternator issues and you can even burn up the cables if you're not careful. So if you ever decide to powder coat or you know paint the brackets, make sure that the where the brackets are hitting metal is sanded off or else you're gonna have big problems with your alternator. So the reason that I picked this spot is because you want to make sure that part of this whole thing is that the block itself, it's a nice piece of metal, is part of the circuit. So a great place back here is using the intercooler bracket. It's going to be empty, it's got a nice big bolt, and a lot of metal touching it. last but certainly not least is going to be the top of the intake manifold now as we were mentioning before all of the ECU grounds come from the upper part of the manifold so a lot of times people will put in TGB spacers or deletes what happens is you add a plastic piece in between the upper part of the manifold and the metal part of the block when you do that you have just cut off the grounding from top to bottom Included in those times a lot included in those a lot of times are extra long bolts those bolts are plated They don't conduct well, so if you install TGV deletes or spacers You must have this harness in here or else you will have problems So let's make sure the ECU is well grounded and tied into everything else. So you have a happy grounded car Now that we have the basics installed we'll kind of do a quick overview so our main junction point we tucked down here the next cable we ran was where the battery meets the chassis super important then we did alternator because the alternator is grounded based on the housing then we went to the back of the block because we want to make sure that the block itself is well grounded and then finally and most important the upper part of the intake manifold where your grounding happens we did that so make sure they're all combined it doesn't necessarily matter where things specifically touch these parts, as long as they touch them somewhere and routing isn't that important, whatever you like. We picked what we thought was most stealthy, but if you wanna run it on top and make it happen, that's fine too. So now we have it all installed. I will say, unless you had a specific problem, you might not notice an actual difference, you might. But the most important thing to know is that 
with the electrical system working better, the car will be happier and you'll get more life out of your car and you'll probably make a few more horsepower too. If you have any questions, let us know.